So first off, I want to start this video by saying it's never, probably never a good idea to look directly at the sun or to stare at the sun. Um, one of the things that prompts talking about what I'm talking about today, which is sky gazing, is uh, a little bit of research into something known as sun gazing, which was a 20th century phenomenon in which people believed that a lot of people uh, will stare at the sun for hours and uh, believe that it heals all diseases and cures everything. Um, in reality, the actual benefits of this are from the um, light physical exercise involved in sun gazing, which actually involves uh, standing flat on your feet and staring at the sun. But, it, but the benefits that are gained are from the sunlight itself and the vitamin D that the body produces when it's exposed to sunlight. Uh, as well as the light physical exercise. Uh, it does boost the immune system and l alleviates depression. Um, which uh, the positive symptoms have absolutely nothing to do with uh, actually staring at the sun. So, sky gazing. Um, looking at a clear sky, uh, looking at the blue or uh, the gray or whatever colors you have in a clear sky or the green or the red at sunset without any clouds, uh, or the orange at sunrise. Now, sky gazing. Very, very relaxing. Very enlightening. Um, also difficult to do. Difficult to focus on uh, the one thing. Um, to focus on the color of the sky, to focus on the existence of the sky, to stare at it, to look into it, to notice that just as when the eyes look at any surface, whether it be a white wall, a black wall, a gray wall, any color, a green wall, just one solid color, the eyes tend to play tricks and the mind does play a few tricks and it opens up the imagination when staring at one solid color. Um, also different colors evoke different emotions. The sky is very unique in this because it has all sorts of different atmospheric things going on. And so the eyes will pick up on these things subliminally, like tiny ice crystals of clouds being formed in different areas and dissipating in an upper atmospheric phenomena, uh, all sorts of things going on that the eyes won't necessarily perceive, but it opens up the imagination to a lot of things. Now the best way to go about sky gazing is to, on a day in which there are very few clouds, um, such as today, as you can see, it's very nice up there, um, get under a shade. So right now I'm underneath a tree. Um, I have a good view. Now the, the sun is actually behind me and the sun is illuminating my surroundings, but it's not illuminating me. It's important when sky gazing to not have any direct sunlight touching your eyes. So as you can see, there's a lot of sunlight on the ground behind me, but none actually on my eyes. So, what you do is, you stare at it. And that is when the magic happens. When a thought comes, let go of it. Focus on what the mind and what the conscious and the subconscious are doing with the blue sky. Now it doesn't matter if the sunlight is touching your body or not. In fact, that itself is healthy and it may help for, uh, if you're struggling with depressed or anxious thoughts, that sunlight will help to alleviate some of that depression or anxiety. Make sure it's not touching your eyes. Um, and again, sky gazing, uh, very useful, very creative, stimulating for creativity. Very, um, very stimulating for relaxation. Um, very stimulating as a, uh, as a source of peace and as a source of um, self-discovery. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm getting eaten alive out here right now. So uh, have a great day.